Let's see a piece of paper. Hmm. Thug's missive. Hired thug. Seems like an easy enough job. Graz and me done plenty like it before. Some chinless Breton wants bodyguards for a trip into the mountains. Fine, easy clink for us. Goes on about this twice forsaken mask of his whole way of his the whole way. Of course. He had a pretty good laugh when Grot snatched it and put it on her face. He threatened to fire us for that one. <clears throat> not smart out here on your own. He realized he ain't that right fast and shut up about not paying. So we get here, he thumbs through some papers and mutters to himself, Never you mind that me and Graz had to cut through ten stinking trolls just to get him here. Without so much as a warning, poof, he's put on that mask and vanished. Could have put my hands on his throat one morning, moment, the next he's not so much as thin air. Well, after a while, we didn't know what to do, so Graz picks up her gear to head home when he poofs back, that mask in his hand. Begs us not to leave. Says he needs us to wait, and that this is what he's paying us for. Then he puts the mask back on his sorry face, and he's gone again. I'd seen cloaks do invisibility before, but a few things swings my fist proved he wasn't pulling that one. There wasn't anything there to hit. He shows up again, tells us he just needs more time, has to figure something out about other masks, and vanishes again. That was yesterday, and I'm done with twiddling my thumbs and writing letters to myself. We're leaving come sunrise, and if he shows up again, I promise Azura I'm putting this dagger through his chest to keep him in one place. We'll pour mo pull more loot off him dead than he could have paid alive, but not the mass. That cursed thing can stay here and rot with him and the trolls. <coughs> hmm. Oh, that was my Atronach. So what have we found? Hmm? Whoa! Wait, this is the same building. Huh. <coughs> Can I... Okay. So it brought me somewhere. Huh. Hmm. What if I do it from out here? this till we find some more like it. Let's look for some more swag. Oh boy. Eight gold. Okay, let's have a mind and get the hell out of here. Let's go to Morthal. Let's go to Morthal. That sounds like fun. It looks like a city. <coughs> Getting windy and terrible out here. Probably shouldn't travel at night. Okay, let's get back on our way then. Let's 
lots of cages. Screw steps. Take the easy way down. Back here, you. I've got to shoot fireballs at you. Oh, you're no fun. There's something up here. <coughs> oh, spiders. Whatever. Whatever tickles you. A single spider. This looks like a little house. That's been messed up really bad. Hey, urns full of gold. <coughs> oh boy, illusion. Eh, some gold. Whatever. Huh? What's up with you? I already got frag and sell it though. He won't be needing his robes. Guess he was down here messing with skeletons and died. I had that problem I had with my undead spell, where it came out of life and started kicking the crap out of me. <laughs> this looks like the place. Disrespect the law, you disrespect me. Are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, mm -hmm. enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. We have no need for wizards in our midst. Mortal has enough problems as it is. <laughs> Let's go find out what's going on. Something to do with wizards. It means power. What do you need? I don't know. A lady Yarl. So, life has brought you to Morthal and to me. What purpose this serves, we will no doubt see. Welcome. They have crabs on their wall. That which is unknown can create unease, even fear. It is to be expected. Some fear our new resident wizard. As they grow to know him, they will accept him. Time will prove me right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi. You will not disrespect Jarl Idgrad while in this hall. Oh, we certainly do. And by all means. <laughs> Speak, elf. Nope, nope. What do you uh, want, little elf? Little elf? I'm as tall, if not taller, than you. Ooh, beer. A terrible great hall. What the hell is that? Hmm. <laughs> Let's go find this wizard. Stay out of trouble, elf. You don't have anything useful to say. Hello? I I'm not one for talk. God damn I keep it. to myself. There's 
sign in. Hmm. Ooh, I like this. Maybe we can find some potions or something we can make potions out of. Hi. A new face. Such a welcome Holy crap, jury. that's a hell of an orc. Welcome, friend. Welcome. Well spoken, too. I'm a bard. Trapped at the Bard's College in solitude. Of course you are. Wanderers like you should think about applying. Huh, okay. What are I'm you a doing? bard. No. Trained at the Bard's College so in investigate solitude. investigate the Bard's College. Wanderers like you Welcome should to Critters! If you need anything, Ooh, he's, she's got around. pheasants. Have a customer. That's cool. Where are you? Are you an orc too? No, you're just a lady. Much to offer, but if you want a place dry to spend the night, I'll rent you a room. What's up with the burned down house? Ogar's house? It burned down not too long ago. It's a real pity about his wife and kid. The screams woke half the town. Jesus. Most folk won't go near it now for fear it's cursed. <laughs> okay, what happened? Hrogar claims it was a hearth fire. Some folks say Hrogar started it himself. Huh. That's what they say. See, he's living with Alva now. That started the day after the fire. It ain't right moving in with a new love the day after your kin die like that. Huh. Of course, there's no evidence. Aye. Our Jarl would sure like to know if he did, though. Might even pay to find out. Hmm. I could use some money. Any other leads? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's uh, men came by and left this Whatever. bounty letter. What's with the orc? Orbach? Fancies himself a bard. He pays, so I let him stay. If I had any customers, I'd be worried about him annoying them. But, well, <laughs> look around. Fair enough. Uh, what about this Looking wizard? For Why don't you go bother those mages at their college in Winterhold and leave my brother alone? Your brother? Uh, rumors? Big talk of a little boy in Windhelm. Name of Aventus Aretino. Get this. He's been trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> Foolish lad. We recently contacted the Dark Brotherhood. Good day. Hmm. I think we have a lead on the assassins. Killed. Yeah. That's enough of that. <laughs> it's no typewriter solo. Dugga 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 typewriter solo. This would be the burnt down house I saw. And the game doesn't like it at all. He's like, no, I don't want to look at it. Hearth fire, he says. Uh, I might have to go beat the shit out of him to find out what happened. I need a detective hat. I'll take the case. Hmm. Well, the hut definitely isn't here anymore. Ooh, flowers. Ooh, flowers. I wonder who wants Ninru in this one. Eggs? Can... can... can has? Yay! I can has eggs. That's nice of them. I was afraid they'd get mad at me. me. Whatever. Disrespect your face! I'm a wizard! For you. I'm the best warrior in Morthal, uh. and that's no boast. Really? You want me to prove it? I bet a hundred gold I can take you, barehanded. I bet you can. Nope. Milk drinker. Indeed. Oh, well, you know, they haven't made me a guard, even though I've been asking. So I'll take odd jobs. Anything that comes along for now. That's nice. There's the guard house. I've got little docks. Mushrooms. Or something. Yeah, mushrooms. What's this? Damn it, game, quit that. 